So, wanted to touch on one of my favorite things, and that is quote unquote foam rolling. This is my roller. Um, once I graduated from the, um, the foam roller, the dense foam, uh, it really wasn't doing much for me anymore. So now, what I basically did is just took this chunk of PVC pipe and cut it. And this is now my roller. And uh, this is, I hit this thing pretty much every workout that I do. Um, and so let me show you how I use my, my foam roller. First thing I always do is roll my IT bands, making sure to keep those uh, IT bands free of adhesion. So I just lay right on the pipe, roll that IT band about three to five times from top to bottom, and then I kind of start targeting the specific areas, right down here by the knee, roll that out up on the greater tuberosity of the femur, roll on that, move on to the next muscle. Here, target the piriformis, make a figure four with your legs, target that piriformis. Usually you can feel it. Get that right on the, the roller and then just roll back and forth rolling that piriformis. Uh, quads and hip flexors for me, those are very tight and they're a little bit painful. And so as you can see, I cross that one leg over to kind of help support my body so I'm not laying my full body weight right on that pipe because that can be very painful. And for those of you who can't roll your IT bands, this is another way to do that. Cross that leg over and support your body weight a little bit so that's not quite so painful and you can still get the benefit of, of rolling. Now I realize for many folks in the business, this is not anything new. This is not breaking news. However, these videos are very useful for new clients that are new to the game. And, and a lot of folks aren't you know, familiar with uh, myofascial release and rolling. So these are very handy. I can send them the link and show them you know demonstration I guess you might say my glutes I have two big adhesions right down over the ischial tuberosity at the bottom of my glutes and so I like to stay on those and then finally my erector muscles my erector muscles are really tight as many of you may know I have a lot of back abnormalities and so I really need to stay on those erector muscles and keep those flexible and loose and so again it's fairly painful so I like to kind of support my body with my arms and my legs um, take some of that weight off and then obviously when you're done you roll over and, and do the other legs so hope this helps and thank you for watching guys and gals